We are back with another monthly wrap-up of some of the weird, bizarre, and even scary news to come out of Japan over the last month. So, what happened over the last month or so? Let's take a look. Number 1. Motorcycle gangs aren't really as big of a thing as they used to be, but it was reported last month that a group of 15 youths decided to get on their bikes in Kawasaki City, Kanagawa Prefecture, and head out for a ride. One of the boys had just turned 17, and so the group, aged 16 to 18, decided they'd go out for a birthday ride during the September of this year with a bouquet of flowers attached to the birthday boy's bike. The problem, however, wasn't so much that a gang of teens got on their bikes to celebrate a birthday, but rather the fact that they ran red lights, drove on the opposite side of the road, and baited police cars into games of chicken. That, of course, didn't go over so well. The teens were arrested and, when questioned by police, said they wanted to make it a birthday to remember. Indeed. Number 2. Popular convenience store chain Lawson has opened its first Green Lawson store in Toshima Ward, Tokyo, and what makes this particular store interesting is that it will be staffed not by people, but rather virtual avatars. In an effort to be more green, the store has completely done away with plastic bags and, from January, will do away with plastic utensils that come with meals as well. But rather than just staring at a boring self-checkout screen when you buy your items, the store has elected to go with virtual avatars, called Aoi and Sorato. These have been made in collaboration with the Japanese avatar development company, because, well, I guess it's a little less lonely and boring than staring at numbers on a screen. And because, why not? Lawson reportedly plans to open a hundred of these stores over the next few years. Number 3. On November 24th, a wild boar descended into the town of Harano in Kanagawa to do a little rampaging. It first attacked a local shopping centre, charging an 83-year-old woman, before running down the street and attacking a man in his 30s. It then ran for a nearby elementary school and started rampaging there as well. Naturally, animal control was promptly called and they arrived at the scene as quickly as possible to prevent any possible injuries to the students. At first, they tried electrocuting it with a prod, but the ball was simply too big and shook the puny attempts off. They then had to resort to more drastic measures, and the deputy chief reportedly put the animal down with a rather long spear. Yes, a spear. Thankfully, no children were harmed, and the earlier man and woman escaped with light injuries. The boar was then reportedly sent to a processing plant to be turned into meat. Number 4. On November 19th, at roughly 11.20am, an office worker in Seki City, Gifu Prefecture, received a rather odd phone call. I'll be coming to get your ball soon, so wait for me. And yes, he was referring to the type of balls you're no doubt thinking of. Naturally, the office worker was both extremely confused and more than a little frightened by this bizarre threat coming from an unknown source, and so he called the police. Police were able to trace the call to an unemployed 34-year-old man from Kakamigahara City, and he was arrested on the 24th. As of yet, no information has been released as to why the man made such a bizarre threat, but presumably no balls have yet been harmed either. Number 5. On November 25th, a Twitter user posted a rather amusing video of the length train fans will go to to see, well, trains. The video shows a single train carriage being transported past Kabukicho in Shinjuku, and you can see a few people standing nearby taking photos. Nothing too out of the ordinary, to be honest. But then, as the video continues, and the truck carrying the train passes by, well, a swarm of people literally running down the middle of the road to follow the train can be seen, disregarding their own safety and that of others just to follow their beloved train. The man in the video can be heard laughing at their antics and telling them not to run down the road, but well, don't get between a train enthusiast and their trains, I suppose. Number 6. 
On November 13th, a fishing enthusiast and university student posted a photo of something rather interesting and just a little terrifying that he managed to catch one night. No, it wasn't a fish, nor even a shark, or anything dangerous like that. It was, well, a set of Japanese dolls. This is the most terrifying catch of my life, he stated, and might bring back memories of all the horrifying Doraemon statues that are apparently lurking in Japan's seas. People in the replies managed to find the same doll, which you can buy for a cool 7,500 yen used online. But how it got in the ocean and why it was there to begin with naturally remains a mystery. Number 7. On November 13th, police in Akashi City, Hyogo Prefecture, got a rather odd call. A security guard working for a shopping mall in the city called police around 1am to report, There's a woman sitting in the restroom. She seems to have cuts on her arms. Police quickly arrived on the scene to find the woman, said to be in her 50s, with a 9 centimeter long knife in her pocket. When police questioned her as to what she was doing in the middle of the night in an empty building, she reportedly said, I don't remember my name. I don't know where I'm from either. She admitted to possessing the knife, but apparently didn't remember anything else. As of yet, no further details have been released. Number 8. Have you ever wanted your very own bed made of cardboard boxes? Well, now you can. Sort of. Ever since the start of the pandemic, numerous cities around the country have reportedly tripled their stockpile of cardboard beds. And why would they have these to begin with? They're for evacuation centres, and the government reportedly recommended them because they keep people from sleeping on the floor. These beds first hit the news in 2011 after the Tohoku earthquake, but they are cheap, easily assembled, and retain heat in winter as well. They're also reportedly sturdy and rather comfortable, but your mileage may vary. Numerous cities have been stockpiling them over the last few years especially, but this has caused them to run into a new problem. Where to store all these cardboard beds? Many are reportedly being stored in rather large warehouses until they're needed, but either way, it's probably nice to know you're not going to have to sleep on a cold, hard floor should such a situation arise. Number 9. On October 31st, a bus driver in Osaka received a rather odd reprimand from work. Alcohol was supposedly found in his system in the test he took before starting work. The bus driver found this incredibly odd because he most certainly hadn't been drinking, but as it turned out, a rather odd source was the culprit. Some steamed bread he had eaten before work. While the legal alcohol limit is 0.15 milligrams in one litre of breath, the bus company runs much stricter rules, requiring less than 0.07 milligrams. The driver tested for 0.11, putting him well within the legal limit, but over the company's limit. And yes, the culprit was the steamed bread he ate on the way to work. The company reported that it was aware that food items such as steamed bread and even nutritional drinks could trigger such a response, but Rules are rules, and they will strictly abide by them regardless of the source. And so, the bus driver had to miss a day of work, all because he ate some steamed bread. Ouch. Number 10. And finally this month, some more news that makes me feel my age. On October 24th, a Twitter user posted a picture of a Game Boy Color with a rather sad caption. I was playing on my Game Boy Color on the way home from cram school when a student behind me said, What's that? Is that a Switch ripoff? I was unable to hide my surprise. Yes, this student apparently had no idea what a Game Boy Color was, and assumed it to be a shoddy Switch knockoff. The replies were full of others keenly feeling their age, or sharing their stories of other handhelds, such as the PSP and Vita also being accused of being Switch knockoffs. Ah, so this time has finally come, stated one person. 
lamenting that the current youth are apparently unaware of the great technologies of decades past. Naturally, not all kids are unaware of what a Game Boy is, but still, for these old bones, it's certainly a sign of time moving on. And that's just some of the weird, bizarre, terrifying, and also kind of funny news that came out of Japan last month. But what about you guys? Hear of anything odd or terrifying? Weird or funny? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.